Yo guys, welcome back to episode 4 of the Backyard Build Series on the BMX Jumps. Today's episode we are going to be focusing on the berm and I am planning on making a big old drop in. Um, we currently go down a hill and then round a corner before hitting the jumps but I had an idea last night and I'd like to put a big old drop off so that you drop and land down the hill and then rail a berm and hit the jump. So yeah, I'm going to be collecting some wood now and then we're going to go down and see what we can do. So let's go. So I'm going to have to start the quad back up because there's only three pieces of wood and I'm definitely, I'm sure I put four bits on so one of them's obviously fallen off somewhere so we'll go and find that. Aha! This is the rolling that I'm on about. So currently I just start here and roll down off that but I'd like to build some more jumps over here, like sort of just a few rollers and then have this go like that and you drop off down this hill. We're going to have to build this berm up huge or make it into a wooden one and then that's when you hit the jumps. And we are going to have lines coming down here, lines going over there. Pretty much this whole forest is just going to be covered in jumps everywhere that's the end goal for this anyway but obviously I know that's going to take me a long long time but yeah I've done these two big jumps down there in three days so who knows when it comes to summer holidays and we get a few of us down here we might be able to fill this forest up quite quickly right so first off I'm going to get another one of these and cut it in half I don't actually have a tape measure so it's going to be rough pretty much just over 11 of my feet so we need five and a half ish So as you can see this one is a lot lower than this one so what I'm going to do is just put this bit that's currently on the top along where I want it and then once I'm done with the whole project I'll cut them both so that they're straight. So hopefully that made sense, if it doesn't then you'll see in it as well what I mean. So yeah let's get on with it. So yeah, I've added this piece along there just to support the big old ones when they come down here because obviously you're going to go up it and then drop off. But yeah, I'm not sure if this piece of wood right there is level or not. So I've got the perfect thing for it. Yeah, so according to the spirit level I've got on my phone, Yeah. 
So as you can see, this is what it's going to be like with pieces of wood the whole way along there. So you go off and drop down. But something I have just realised, I've built the whole thing wonky to the actual drop. So you wouldn't normally come down the drop like this, but this is pointing this way, if that makes sense. So when you're going, coming along it, you are going to have to turn a little bit and drop down. I would just change that usually, but these posts took me so long to put into the ground, I'm not going to. It's, an, it's a very wide drop in anyway, so you can just come across at an angle and drop in. So whoever comes and rides here, I will just have to tell them that before they send it and drop down the line. But yeah, let's get all of this screwed together. nearly done I've got a few bits of wood left but these pieces of wood are getting very very thin so I'm not really too keen on using them so yeah hopefully I have got enough of the good ones I probably need three more pieces so I reckon I probably can get three more pieces out of there and yeah my saw that did break as you can see there so these last I'm not sure where I got up to there because my camera did actually die, but I think I got to, my saw has broken. So these last four pieces haven't been cut and I need three more bits. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with the three bits and then obviously I'm gonna need some dirt down there uh, because there's gonna be a bit of a lip before you get onto it. So yeah, let's put these three more bits on and then we'll go and get some dirt. It is done now, obviously, apart from where I'm going to be cutting off these edge bits. So now I'm going to get some dirt, literally just from down here, up here even. Um, just dig a bit of dirt up and put it here so that it's flush. So let's go on with that. So guys, have finished this off now. Um, obviously, still need to cut these pieces of wood on the end off, but... Yeah, it is ready to ride now. Um, I'm going to be doing that next episode, so make sure you stay tuned for next episode. And we are also going to be making that berm much, much bigger because this is going to give us some serious speed. So we need to be able to carry that speed into the jumps, boost them really high, and then have enough speed for the next three, four, five, however many I make. And then after that line's finished, I'm going to make another line, another one, and this whole forest is hopefully just going to be filled with BMX jumps. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.